In this video, I would like to show you how to find your leak information on your machine. I'm going to find this by going into My Sleep View. And there's three different options in My Sleep View. I'm going to choose the option for mask. I'm going to take my finger, swipe from the bottom to the top so I can scroll down on the touch screen, and I will see leak and then a number. It might also give you an option of how long you want to, of a period of time you want to look at. You would want to look at only last night's information or the last day's information. So choose one day if you have that option. So then on leak, what you would do is look at the number. The goal is to try to get the number below 24 for most people. It may be difficult to get below 24 if you have higher pressure or if you're a mouth breather and you are not able to get your mouth closed through strategies such as using a chin strap and higher humidity. But if we can, we're going to work towards getting that number below 24 because it tends to help people have less dryness, have less nasal symptoms such as sneezing, congestion or irritation, and may even help them keep their mask on better at night uh, if they're tending to leak, wake themselves up and take the mask off during the night. There are a few different places where you could have leak. It could be where your mask touches your face. That might be in the nostrils, under the nose, over the nose like a cup, over the nose and mouth, or covering the mouth and sitting under the nose. With each of those styles, you may have some leak if it's not fitting your face well. If you're getting a lot of leak, you want to talk to your medical supply company about that to see if you might be able to improve the fit of your mask to help reduce your leak. Another common place to get leak is out of the mouth. If you have a mask that's not covering your mouth and you're having a leak that you're not hearing, then you want to get a chin strap and use that chin strap to help remind you to keep your mouth closed. Particularly when you're new to PAP, this can be a helpful strategy to stop doing uh, mouth breathing, which you might do when you're new to PAP. One way to check for leak when you're starting therapy is to actually go to your home screen and go to more and then use the mask fit option. So here I'm going to hit mask fit and then say start. It's going to pressurize my mask at the average pressure used during the night. If I have an adjusting pressure or I have a um, ramp, then my machine is going to start at a lower pressure than its average, meaning I cannot set my mask at a good position for the average pressure. Instead, what I'm doing is testing it on a low pressure if I just turn the machine on. But if I use mask fit, what it allows me to do is check and see if I'm having leak at my average pressure. And if I am, I can adjust my mask before uh, going to sleep. You'll notice here it's telling me I have a leak and then if I made adjustments to it, I would be able to get that to go away and get a better feel. And then I might be able to get that adjustment so that I can have a better seal. If I can't ever get to the green check mark, then it would be time for me to call my medical supply company or the person that prescribed the machine for me so that I could get some help with this. Okay, so again, if you want to test your mask out at the beginning of the night to check the fit, you're going to go into home, then you're going to go to more, and then you would go into mask fit, say start and run your mask fit and test your mask against the pressure it will be at during the night. If you want to know how you did with your leak, you will go into my sleep view, mask, and then scroll down until you see the leak number, hoping that you can keep your leak below 24 or a number that is close to it. And if you're not able to, have a discussion with your medical supply company or the person that ordered your machine for you to see if there are some strategies you can use to help reduce that number. If you don't have a mask covering your mouth, a chin strap can help. Sometimes that chin strap can even help if you have a mask that is covering the mouth. If you're moving your jaw a lot, it might help keep that jaw more in place. And then you want to make sure that any leaks you're hearing that you uh, try to resolve the best you can. Occasional leaks that you're here are not typically ones that will cause that leak number to be in the 40s and 50s. If you're seeing those kind of numbers and you're not hearing a lot of leak, 
you could be having leak out of your mouth that you're not aware of because you're sleeping through it. So just let people know that you're having some trouble if you're new and get some advice on what you can do about that leak so that you don't have as many side effects from the PAP.